Once I get here, it's, it's pretty easy. I can either go over the top, work the full mount stop, or I can start going here. I'm gonna grab his arm, pull it tight, put my elbow right over the top of his back. He's normally gonna turn down. See, a lot of guys do this. I'm gonna turn, keep my knee to the side, all my pressure right here on the shoulder. I go underneath his arm because he's not gonna stay here. Because I can punch him. I raise his arm over, I catch it. I go underneath his armpit, hook it, elbow in. Start circling towards his head. All my weight's here. Drop your elbows. You can hammer fist, but I like the Kimura. It's a different type of Kimura. I'm gonna leave my knee on the side of his head, rip it. Rip the Kimura. Okay, this one works pretty good. When I'm ripping it, if he's not tapping, push the elbow down, or shoulder down. Pushing the shoulder down. So as I land, I got a body lock here. It's still around my head. Reach up. Secure the far shoulder. He's normally gonna, he's not gonna sit there. I go underneath the arm, elbow, here. Notice how I always keep a knee behind his back. Elbow, in. Elbow, here. All my weight is right here. Okay, this is very important. Stop everything you want. You get here, elbow down, the hammer fist, lock him more up. And he's still behind him. Rip it. So this is a little, they got quite a few options, they can hammer you, elbow, rip the Kimura. A lot of times if it happens, sometimes they'll turn completely, completely down and you got it back. Okay, be careful, taking the guy's back when he's like that though. If he's an ankle fighter like he is, he's going to try to roll in. <laughs> you got me now. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>